In this video, we are going to talk about how to request an expedite on employment authorization document, EAD. Visit us at Swad and V channel with your questions to see how best we can help you out with your process. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel. Let's jump in. The first step that you need to get an employment authorization document expedite is to go online, chat live with the virtual agent through EMA and request the expedite. She will ask for your phone to send it as a text or email address, or you can also go call USCIS through the customer service contact center. The agent will ask you why do you need the EAD expedite, which most of the basis, and your answer would most commonly be severe financial loss to a person or the company. What that means in reality is that you either are currently employed by a company under a different employment authorization document category or under a different working visa or you might need a job and you are looking for one and you just like that authorization there because you need a job the third option is that you have a job offer and you need to go ahead and accept the job offer but they just don't have the working class at this time so you would explain to USCIS why you would need the job in the first place this could include that you are unable to meet your financial obligations if you don't have a job maybe you need to support other people or there is being this change in circumstances that requires you to now have a job so after explaining this to the USCIS the officer will then show you how to go about the expedite and where to send them the officer will go ahead to make a note letting immigration know that if you are able to accept your new job offer or be able to keep your current job due to that you would be at severe financial loss and usually this would include telling them the salary that is time to lose now you will hear back from them within about five to ten business days about their decision and that could either be that they are going to approve the request deny the request or they need further information. If they need further information, then you go ahead and send the documentation about what you've told them for the basis of your request. This could include your job offer, evidence of your bills, evidence of your company that they need to keep you on because it would cause them a loss to train someone else, hire someone else, provide them information, provide them uniforms if the company does, all the miscellaneous expenses that are involved with that. So after that point, you get to be asked for extra information. It would take around 30 days to receive a response. It could be faster or it could be even longer than that. But at the 30 day mark, if you haven't heard anything, you can give them a call and find out what is going on with your expedite request. If they approve the request, your card will be produced and you'll be able to start working as soon as you receive your employment authorization document. If your request is denied, you can go ahead and re-request your expedite seven days after the initial request was denied. I hope you guys found this video extremely helpful. If you know anybody that could benefit from this information, definitely make sure to share this video with them. We are all about empowering you with knowledge. So the more people that can benefit from this video, the more people we want watching this video. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs icon. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit on the notification bell for more immigration updates. Bye!